Hey everybody, welcome to Reggie TV, episode 11. And uh, what we're going to be working on today is um, a little roof repair on the back shed. So on our last episode, I show you showed you how we had the garden all redone. So a bit of a closer look here. So now that that's looking all tight, one problem is I got a roof going on here with the shed, so it's time to uh, fix that. So um, I'm going to show you um, how to do uh, some shingles. If you've never done a roof, a small roof like this, it's quite easy. If you're going to do your actual house roof, I recommend hiring a professional. But uh, for something small like this, it's pretty straightforward and easy. And um, first thing we're going to do is get all these shite shingles off. So we can uh, check the underlying wood, make sure it's okay, and then put the new shingles on. So an easy way to get the shingles off is just to uh, basically take a shovel, a spade, flat shovel, and just uh, wedge it underneath the shingles like so. And uh, just pop it off. So as you can see now, I've got all the shingles removed. This side and the other side. Right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're starting the shingle installation process is the, the first row that goes along the edge of the roof there. So um, for this, um, that's obviously how a normal shingle goes with these tabs sort of pointing down. When you do the first row, what you want to do is take, uh, flip it upside down so that the piece that's solid uh, is along the bottom line of the roof. And you want to do about an uh, inch or so overhang both on the, the end and on uh, the roof itself. So you run a strip of those across and then when you do the next level. Obviously you want to offset these uh, tab holes. You don't want to you want to line it up like like that where the tabs are uh, over top of each other. You want to stagger them and uh, run, it, run it run the first row right down over top of the uh, first one and that'll protect the edge of the roof a lot better. Now obviously if this was a house roof or you know, something other than just a storage shed, you probably want to put uh, uh, what's called ice guard down, or it's like a membrane down on the roof first for some extra protection, and then you put the shingles on top of that. But this is just a tool shed, so I don't really uh, need that, and the roof survived fine for about 15 years so far with, uh, with just a thing with shingles on it. So we're going to do the same thing again. So we've got the first and second row done. So as you can see, uh, as I said before, the first row is just underneath. Um, this is technically the second row is underneath the first row, which is upside down. And the second visible row have the seams staggered. So the water is going through. And then at the end, you're going to end up, you know, usually with off cuts. And when you cut them, you cut them right. They should all fit. Um, kind of like a puzzle together so uh, and you go from the bottom up obviously because the water is going to come down so you want the water to flow over top of these this way and fall into the next level and then um, these off cuts we're going to use a little bit later at the top for the, the top row of the uh, the roof as well so don't throw these away once you've cut them so we've got one uh, side of the, the peak done so that line right there is the peak. So once I've gone to the top, I've run the shingles over top of the peak. The peak's basically right in line with that uh, black line of tar. And then when I come up this way, I'm gonna do the opposite and then finish it off with uh, those uh, single cuts in kind of like a, a tile format, which I'll show you when I finish it off. All right, so you can see the roof is done now. And yeah, I know the two sides don't match, but I had an extra bag of shingles um, that uh, was left over and you can't buy these ones anymore. So 
c'est la vie. But anyways, to uh, finish off the cap, what I'm gonna show you now is, so we've got these end pieces that we cut. And what you wanna do is you wanna nail them down behind the line and then just overlap them going this way, nail them down behind the line, and you'll have a cap line that's running right across the peak of the roof. And there you go. Safe family. All right, so now we got a uh, nice clean looking shed to match the new garden design. So hope you like that uh, roof repair. And don't forget to check out uh, other episodes on Reggie TV on YouTube. And uh, if you like it, feel free to subscribe. See you soon, Reggie TV. Cheers.